Hopefully you guys really enjoyed the fact that I caught every single human available. Some of you guys even told me to catch all of the tower pals and put them in, just like Victor and Shadowbeak. Unfortunately, there's a slight problem with that. They made a patch where you can no longer damage the tower bosses and, well, frankly, you can't capture them anymore. But possibly it's coming back because of this tweet. I also got a lot of comments here about Alpha Shadowbeak and having Lucky instead of Lord of the Darkness. Also, you guys wanted me to name him something different and I really enjoyed Shadow Freak because he is kind of a freak of nature. Now, my idea behind not getting Lord of Darkness is because we can change out the different skills. We can put in different ones in any time we wanted to, and there's like air cannon, shockwave. And I kind of wanted to try out the spirit flame because I like that one, and giving them lots of them that are really powerful and expensive is just kind of difficult. But there are all of these seeds that we can give to people, and I just think it's kind of funny, like <laughs> giving Shadow Freak a seed, mach seed a machine gun. Yeah. Can't words. But I had another idea, partially from the comments. These these Frost Stallion knocks are really, really crazy pals. Technically speaking, they have the highest attack, I believe. So what would happen if we created one of these with Lord of the Darkness? And our pal Victor in Shadowbeak has this Dark Wisp skill, which is weird and I want to use it. So my brain has a question is if we take one of these, can we breed it? Oh, also the chests are back. That's cool. All right, Victor in Shadowbeak. Oh, we can't assign you to a breeding farm. That's weird. Oh, wow. Large palisol in that chest? Delicious. So I'm wondering if we take like a female shadow beak and breed it with Victor and shadow beak, if it'll work. I'm guessing we're gonna get something entirely unrelated here. And they have cake, so do it. It works. All right, that's cool. It's kind of awkward, but it's still cool. Well, it appears as if an egg has been created. So it's a huge dark egg. Whatever is gonna come out of this would be cool if it was a shadow beak, but I have a feeling it's probably not. Oh, it is a shadow beak. Interesting. Musclehead, lucky, ferocious, legend. Those are the stats we want, but it has spirit flame and air cannon, not the proper attack. Cause we really want that dark wisp. You had to roll the H. Well, it looks as if two more eggs have popped out. And if we can do this with a shadow beak, we should just be able to breed it with a Jormantide. And if we can do that, we'll make the health saver, life saver thing, which we can breed with the Frost Stallion to create the Frost Stallion Noct. Now I would like one of these to have good stats plus that Dark Wisp skill. It's really weird how they just get all sorts of things. Like how did this one get ice missile and air cannon? Just strange. Got one more here. And if this doesn't work, we're gonna remove some of the skills from them or whatever these things are called. I almost hatched the regular egg. Come on, buddy. Come on, give me that Dark Wisp. All right, those are the good stats other than the Dark Lord that we need to get somewhere else. But please, dark laser? I haven't seen that one before. Or have I? I might have, I don't know. But I do want to remove spirit flame. And can I just actually see? Yeah, you've got dark laser too. My goodness, you have a lot of skills. So it's been a hot minute and a few more eggs have baked. It is time to make some more of them up. Now, it could be a little bit interesting. I've seen the dark wisp on a few of them, but not with perfect stats. Or should I say perfect passives, not stats? I don't know. There's some of you guys who are like, a hundred IV, big weird things. I don't, I don't get everything. And maybe I should, but there's a shadow beak with legend and muzzle head ferocious and lucky it doesn't have the lord of darkness like some of you want me to have but i'm fine with that so let's take a looky looky in the box and see what kind of fun we have all right so okay that only has the pal blast and air cannon spirit flame let's go back come on okay we got the dark laser the dark wisp there it is muscle head ferocious with dark wisp i'm hoping ooh, a legend and lucky with dark wisp but we don't want lucky we want lord of darkness so all of these are still kind of meh i mean this one's pretty good but i don't want that veil of darkness so i'm just gonna breed up a bunch more <laughs> so good news kevin the intern has been wandering around and we purged a few of the eggs but victor here made a baby a baby that will be very good for us. This baby right here. Dark Wisp, Legend, Ferocious, Lucky, and Musclehead. Some people say that this might be the best one. Dark Lord could fit in there too, but now we get to start breeding this fellow. So it does get a little bit weird, and I might have should have maybe trying to find other ones, but yep, you're gonna come in here, 
I'm still gonna try to get a couple more because this is where the game is gonna get really hard. We need to mix this shadow beak with a knock or incinerator, incinerator ram, whatever they're called. If I can find one, do I not even have one? Oh, balls. That's not it. Because we need to make reptiros, I think. There's one. All right, it's got runner skill and you're a male. So we need to go get a few more of these. I am pretty sure they're in the spicy zone. You know, if I was a genius, like I personally am not, I could have just looked in here, try to page through this list twice because I can't read properly. What number are you in Cineram? I didn't think you were this high up. Are you really on the par with the Suzuka and the Pharrellis? No, of course not. There you are. Where do you locate yourself at? All right, other side of the island. Beautiful. I can zoom over there in a matter of seconds. Why are there so many fish? I don't care about the fish. I care about the ram right now. There we go. And you know the drill. We shoot them in the face one time to see if they get hurt. Ooh, you don't like the bullets. All right, you're actually kind of spicier than I thought. If I get captured. I just threw a regular spear. Ow, stop, ow. I don't even have things. Get in there. I should probably go after the females though because that's what I really need right now. Why do you have so many hit points? My goodness. Got one. Ooh, that one's ferocious too. I actually needed that skill. All right, get in there. Yeah. And you too. Did you not learn what I said to get in there? Come on, don't hide in the tree. Get in the sphere. Ooh, made it. We're gonna use you to make lots of little weird babies. Woo. That one's a masochist. Perfect for my needs. And this Woo. one is, oh, terrible. We might need a few more. No, what did you do, dingus? Ah. <laughs> Jet Trigon, Anakin Skywalker killed all the sand people again. Nope. Did you see that dodge? I've been playing Elden Ring. Just kidding, never touched it. And ta-da, give me some good skills. Just one. Or not. All right, we're going after the females. We don't need the male. So let's just uh, eradicate that one. Ooh, that was a good crit. You must have some bad skills there, like negative defense. We don't want that. Whoop. All right, the hyperspheres are not nearly as good, but hopefully they'll still work it in there. Come on, some good skills. All right, that's actually great. There's no skills. That's beautiful. That's almost better. Ooh, almost tickled me. I don't like being tickled. Now get in there. All right, Hydromaniac. I'm gonna see, I've got one more sphere. And thankfully we have one more female volunteer for this uh, experiment. Don't worry, you can be inbred like by 13 generations if you are careful. Ow. All right, get in there. All right, we're switching over to Gigaspheres now. I don't think these are, ouch. Gonna do anything though. Something cool? All right, Veil of Darkness, nah. That's still a 24% chance. I don't really care about another male, but it might be nice to have one. Okay, Insulated Body, Positive Thinker, and a Saddest. Dumb. All right, now that I know the Gigaspheres work, let's collect a few more. Or at least I thought they worked. Come on, Incineram, get inside of there. Maybe you're in this city. Ew, I wanted to catch a jump on that one to get rocketed into space, but... All right, Blood of the Dragon. Meh. These two fellas are proving quite toxic. Oh, I missed right now. Oh, and then I got the Ignisus or the Les Punks, whatever you are. Hey, little punk, I don't like you. Hey, a glutton. I don't want a glutton. Why can't I get any good skills on these? Go away. <laughs> you guys want to anger the beast? You've angered the beast. He's not even the big scary beast. Here's a uh, Shadow Freak right here. Have this one instead. He's gonna teach you the whole new meaning of pain, my friends. Oh, that's gonna be really bad. That charged, yeah, that was amazing. Well done, Shadow Freak. You've killed literally the entire environment. I'm proud of you. You're in your spiky collar. Also, I'm a little bit depressed that I can't fly through there. Aw. I'm also sad that I used up literally every single one of my good spheres, so we're gonna have to go make a bunch. All right, so we've got that male that's got the dark wisp. We need that female. Did we get a female with nothing? Where are you? There you are, female and Cineram with nothing. Pop you in, and then you two are gonna make some sort of other weird creature. I already put the the cake I need in there, so doink, nice. Hopefully that's the right one, and hopefully this doesn't take a long time, but I'm gonna grab all these eggs and see if anything cool comes out of here. So out of all of those eggs, I got another Shadow Beak that has a pretty decent skills. We have the Dark Wisp, and but we have Workaholic too. I think we should be able to remove that. This one was also a female. So I can use a male in Cineram with hopefully some good skills. We didn't really get many. Ferocious will work for me. Plop you in here. Boink. And maketh ye babies. 
Oh, no cake. The other good news is that we finally have some of these large scorching eggs, so we can hatch these up, and we need to get Dark Wisp yet again. Ooh. Plus, probably some good stats, because these Reptiros, my goodness, we already got the good stats on Reptiro. Oh, I need to check. Let's just check. Wouldn't it be crazy on the first one to get a Reptiro with Lord of Darkness? Ah, oh, Fire Air and Ingus Blast. That's not what we were hoping for. Whatever, we've got unlimited eggs, so let's just waste our afternoon. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, maybe I don't have a limited afternoon. <laughs> I would like to play other games today, too. Oh, nope. Oh, I can just blast again. And yes, I know this is not the optimum way of doing all of this, but I mean, it's better than nothing to try to get there. Oh, a third one. My goodness. Please. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Oh, we got one with a Dark Wisp. That's good progress. But the thing is, I have to breed one of these fellas with the Necromus, wherever that is. And I don't have any of the skills really good on the Necromus besides Legend and Lord of Underworld. Actually, are those the ones I need? Oh, they are. No, no, we have Lucky. We need Ferocious. Ferocious Musclehead and then the other two. Not quite there. Okay, we got two more eggs. I did get one of another one of these Reptiros with good stats when I was breeding them. Ooh, okay, so we have the Ferocious. Uh, we need Musclehead, Ferocious Musclehead. We don't need Legend. All right, just a regular Musclehead. There are a few of these that have the good stats. And the Dark Wisp. Oh, but it doesn't have Musclehead. I need that on you, Reptiro. That one's good, but it doesn't have the Dark Wisp. This is just adding, ooh, muscle head, but this one doesn't have ferocious. <laughs> We're getting so close yet so far away. It's just a matter of time now before they pop out in babies. My dudes, we got a ferocious muscle head with dark wisp. Yeah. This is good news for us. Now this is a male. Also, it's quite large and in charge, but mm. Mr. Dark Wisp, you're gonna start making us some more babies. We need to put you in this cage. Oh, you're big. I want to know what a shiny one of those is like, how big that could be. And then we need the necrom, necromus, neck these guys. Okay, we have a male and a female, which is awesome. Because this one's a male, so we need to put the female in here. Now, you two are going to make weird offspring. We're getting super close now. And this is going to be hard because we're going to need a lot of luck with the passive skills. No, don't go up. Okay, you can go eat. I don't care. You've been stuck in that box for like six months now. We are going so through so many of these flipping eggs, but finally we have, well, one and a half of these made. A large dark egg. It's going to be delicious because I believe this is the uh, Hellzuffer? Hellzuffire? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is with Ferocious. Wouldn't it be cool if like the first one I had got uh, Dark Wisp? Nightmare Ball. See, this is where it's gonna be hard again. Thankfully, Kevin the intern's walking around and we can purge this system Woo! slightly. I trade any kind of pal. I bet you do. I kind of feel bad about this, but I'm getting rid of literally every one that doesn't have Dark Wisp. Some of them do, but a lot of them don't. Hey, this is kind of cool news. We got our first Lord of the Underworld, yeah! which is good, but it doesn't have the, oh, it has Wings of Death, but it doesn't have the Dark Wisp, so. We gotta keep working on those. <laughs> so I did just get a little bit of an upgrade. This guy, Reptiro, Dark Wisp plus the four is good enough for me. Hello, friend. You're gonna go make some babies? Go over here, jump in the box with the neck, Romus. Now we're gonna grab these four. My goodness. I, I think I've bred somewhere close to 200 creatures in the last couple hours. Oh, I can't even do that in there. I have to do it in that thing. My brain is turning to jello, and you know what? I'm actually getting hungry. I'm gonna kind of leave this go AFK over lunch and see what kind of a mess I get myself into. Ooh, I'm hoping that I can get like the four stats across two of these because I don't think I'm gonna get the perfect four just with that two setup. Seems pretty rare to get Lord of the Underworld plus the Dark Wisp. We occasionally do get one of them, but yeah, there's one right there, but that doesn't have any of the stats we want. That one does, but it doesn't have dark laser. It's stupid. What is uh, Wings of Death for? Can be ridden as a moan, applies dark damage to players' attacks while mounted. Ooh, spicy. Well, some more time has passed and I've been sitting here. I think I'm over 400 eggs now. I wish I was joking, but... I'm not, I've gone through so much cake. But the good news is I do have some of these Zyphers up here. I've got two breeding pairs of them and they're working. They're, they're doing the work. 
It's taking forever. But my friends, I did just get one of these eggs that shows the right stats. Now the question is if it has the Lord of Darkness stat on it. Oh boy, we gotta find my way through this mess too. Uh-huh, 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 nope. And, oh, uh, uh-huh, there, that one. Oh, it's got the right stats, but no Lord of Darkness. No! Oh, it's so annoying. Now the question is, do I use this guy to breed others with the Lord of Darkness, or do I just call it good? I don't know. I don't know the, the proper etiquette of breeding right now. Like, you have... Well, that one's not the right one, but this one, the one wherever it was, it has everything that we need except the Dark Wisp. I also don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it doesn't have Dark Wisp. So the question is, do I use it anyway and just pair it with someone with Dark Wisp? Well, we're gonna try it. We have an empty room right now. I'm also bringing up a couple Frost Stallions because I want to try to get one with like minimum skills too. So this girl needs a strong, independent young man with Dark Wisp and preferably nothing else. Or Legend, that should be fine. Now you just make babies. Do your baby making thing. Now my goal with these Frost Stallions is that I would very, very much like Frost Stallions to have like no skills oh, and I'm trying to breed them down so they have nothing or you know until they have four actually pretty good stats like that no just kidding you're gonna get condensed <laughs> I wouldn't mind just having straight legend on these but whatever I mean it's tough oh one left this guy's been making me a lot of money too <laughs> I mean I've been selling pals and condensing them I kind of feel bad except they're just pixels on the screen Oh, uh, none of these are good. You know, I just had one of those epiphanies. Actually, that one's not bad. Legend Musclehead Ferocious. Oh, and my inventory's too full. My brain was thinking here for a second, why don't I just skip the Frostalian stage? Why do I need to breed those together? Why don't I just grab something? Like, I, it needs to have legend on it, right? But like, why can't I put a legend muscle head in with this, like the workaholic to try to get just straight up something easier? And we're gonna get the Frostalian knocked out of this regardless. So why don't we just yeet you in there, grab these three eggs, and then we'll just kind of skip that stage. Except I still need to condense them and sell them. Hey, Gavin the intern, we have we have things to sell. <laughs> Kinda wanna know what they do to all of these pals. Maybe I don't. So I'm just like selling all of the ones that don't have Dark Wisp on them. And some of them that do, and just bad other skills. Why not, right? So it appears as if our first two eggs are ready here. I really, I mean, this is gonna be the Frostalian knocked, or it, it better be. If, if not, I'm, I'm in trouble. I've spent like six hours on this. Okay, Musclehead, Legend, with the Frostalian knock. Beautiful. Now, could we do it like we did? Was it the Rizbolt and we got it on the third try? That'd be awesome. Ooh, Legend Musclehead. Oh, that's great. But neither of these two dinguses have the thing that we're looking for. We want Dark Wisp in there. All good news. Ferocious Legend, Lord of the Underworld, Musclehead. Come on, Mr. Man. Do the thing. It's got it. It's got it. We got the Zypher with the perfect passive skills. Ooh, and the active skill. Oh boy, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. This has been so long. Um, 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 um. do I put it with the, oh, it's a female too. All right, we can do this. I need you for your loins, or whatever. I don't even know the proper words right now. Get in here. And now we can probably get rid of like that group and we probably don't need a bajillion more of <laughs> the Zyphers being made up. But I wanna see, come on, this should be the knocked again, right? All right. I mean, Legend Musclehead is good. It didn't have the possibility of making the other ones, so this could be good. This could be, I, I'm, I'm positively, I don't even know the word, optimistic. There we go. I literally just got a second one. Could you? Ah. Uh, I mean, it's kind of the third one, right? But I did just get another one of these uh, with the Dark Wisp. Oh, two of them. Oh no, that one's got Diet Lover. Ain't nobody got time for diets. Not when there's tons of cake around. And that one did come from, this, which was the group? The, these two that didn't have it. So that's cool. Now the question is, do I want more of these or should we just try breeding? Yeah, we can remove you two now. We're gonna bring you in and put you with a nice frosty girl. Also, Dark O'Clock is here and I can't see forest because of the trees or whatever that stupid saying is. I had buttload more eggs that I haven't even done anything with. You know what I should do? 
You know what? I should do a tad bit of condensation. Not the rainy kind, like when you take a shower for a long time and then after the shower you're like, hot dang, why is everything in this bathroom covered with water? Yeah, that that's it's a different kind of condensate. I don't really understand. I'm you know what? Let's just uh let's just genetically mash some things together. We have a hundred in the inventory, my goodness. Most of these are junk. I mean they're living creatures. But they're junk. Yeah, like you two, go away. So that should be a three star. I don't quite have enough. I mean, you guys always yell at me and say that I can look right down here to see how many I have. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough for it. So I can start breeding up another one like that. And I don't know if the level of it when you breed it together works or not, but I don't really care right now. We're just gonna yeet you into there. We're gonna find a nice, beautiful frost stallion for you to do whatever you do. I just need one with like, please don't, just don't have any, any weird stuff. I don't, no baggage right now. We're just trying to breed a perfect one. And of course they all have weird skills. I mean, this one's okay. Ugh. Legend Vanguard or workaholic legend. Uh, it doesn't matter. Don't matter at all. Doink. And now make the weird babies. Yoink. All right, so we got a bunch of Frostallion knocked eggs right here. We're hoping for it. And I'm hoping for like two of the stats. And then like Dark Wisp on it. Ah, oh, we don't need Burly Body. We're not going defense, but that's nice. Not the Lord of the Darkness or whatever it is, but we have three of the stats. With the Dark Wisp, that would be a strong one. I'm just gonna go hatch all these now. Oh, you're absolutely kidding me. We, we got it. D does it have? I, I need it. This one right here. Uh, the one to the right of this has all four. Oh, uh, none of these. Uh oh, none of these are have. Okay, there's a Dark Wisp. If this one above it has a Dark Wisp, we're good. Nope. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was so close. No Dark Wisp. But the good news is, well, we can now breed that one with one that does have Dark Wisp. And hopefully that'll work better. Oh, that one doesn't have Dark Wisp either. That's a legend. My goodness, it was so close. I can taste it. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's maybe coffee. Maybe I need more coffee. So these aren't the perfect skills, but hopefully there's cake in there. Yeah, that'll work. This fellow's got a little extra baggage hanging on the Hydromaniac and Unstable, but he does have the dark wispy thing, so that could work out. Ooh, another egg. <laughs> it's kind of fun, because like all of these are super close, and then every single second you're like, this could be the one I'm looking for. And then you build it, and it's like, ah, oh, crippling disappointment. That's a vanguard. We don't care at all about that. But what I do care about is putting these in here for later. Because if you remember, we still have to have like 117 of these things to make the perfect four star. Why did you dinguses not go into the cage? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, my friends, the first, oh, two eggs. <laughs> yes, the first two eggs of the purebred, well, if you can call them purebred. Uh, Frostelia and Nox are here. This would be so sick. First, first egg, first egg, of course not. I it's got a suntan lover. Where did you pick suntan lover up at? You don't even like the sun. You're made out of darkness. Just one of these eggs, please. Just please be the one we need. Just please. Of course not. But that's Veil of Darkness, which is kind of weird. There's another one. There's another one. Lord of the Underworld with everything we need. Oh, oh, please, beautiful pony. Yeah, no, that's the wrong. I thought it would be in the... Oh, no, where is it? That's it. That's it. We got it! Yes! Yes! The perfect Frost Alien knock. Dark Wisp, Lord of the Underworld, Ferocious Legend, Musclehead. This thing is gonna be insane for attacks. That's 20% to attack damage, attack, attack, attack. And now I need to condense literally, oh, what are, we're gonna call you the Lord of Darkness. I mean, it's a female. Can a female be a Lord? I don't really know the, the etymology behind like that sort of thing, but we got it, hot dang. Woo. Okay, now I need 116 Frostallion Nox to slap inside of you. Where, how do I, where, do, where, do, where, do, where are you? There you are, Lord of Darkness. I kind of wish you could redo like the picture here or put something on it so you could see different. Oh my goodness, all of these critters wanna be condensed right now. And I can set these up, go AFK for a while, because I like for real, I gotta leave in about eight minutes to go uh, um, to my kid's parent-teacher conference. So that's cool. Yes, I do have kids. I have two of them, if you are wondering. So the condensation menu is here. We have the Lord of Darkness in her beautiful glory. Let's uh, go ahead and put all four of these in, start condensing. I'm so scared though. Let's double check. 
yep, whatever, I don't care. I just, my biggest fear is losing one of these by, like, being dumb and clicking backwards. Yeah, how, how horrible would that be? Uh, you spend literally eight hours trying to condense something and you're like, hey, and then you accidentally do the dumb. 22 in the inventory. Hot dang. All right, I'll be back in a bit. So there's something kind of satisfying about going AFK for a while and coming back and there's literally 60 eggs for you to go through. I think this should be enough to level up to uh, level four and then we get to go and get some XP in this thing. So I think this is interesting. There's no space available in the Parbo box. I don't know what a Parbo box is, but <laughs> it's kind of funny. I've been going through all of these. There's more already because it takes so long to hatch the eggs. It's like a never ending treadmill of of breeding here. But the good news is oh, I only have 42. What the what the world? Why? Oh, I've got. Yeah, OK, I need to I need to find Kevin here. Hey, Kevin, how are you today? Would you like some pals? Kevin's like, oh, boy, would I ever love pals? So I'm just going to feed him everything. We don't need to give like these are so good. I I just have to like close my eyes and click the buttons and then Pretend that I didn't see anything. Oh, I don't want to all my good ones Okay, all my good ones are currently in the breeding factory. I whoa, whoa, we can't we don't want to sell you Oh, oh, it's so it's so sad. Goodbye friends. It was nice knowing you. Thank you for all your sacrifice a nice cool 74,000 monies. That'll buy me a lot of ammo. I also like how the chests respond. My goodness, would you guys stop making babies? You're like rabbits over here. It's all fun and games till the boss man removes the cake from the break center. No more baby making for you. Aw, huge dark egg stuck. Looks like I overdid it a little bit. 105 in the inventory, but whatever. Lord of Darkness will consume all. It is kind of annoying too. Some of these are really, really, really good. But I mean, what do I need them for, right? Possibly if there's a second one that's a male, because this one's a female, right? I think so. I'm also a hoarder when it comes to video games, so I want to keep absolutely everything. But it doesn't matter because begin the condensation. Oh yes, glorious Lord of Darkness. How wonderful that is. That's awkward to say. And now where's our other friend? Oh yeah, Kevin's just hanging out in the oasis. And what Lord of Darkness didn't consume, Kevin will, because he's a hungry boy. It was crazy out of all of those, like 160 of them or so, we only got two that are the perfect stats, which is crazy to me. Regardless, we have it now, and it's time to go kill some bosses. Ooh, open these up too. Delicious. Some spheres would be nice. A golden key. I always like having free stuff at my base. Yeah, the other question is, do we even have? Oh yeah, we can ride. It's gonna be a little bit slow compared to Anakin. <laughs> Way slow, but whatever, it'll still be good. And we can use Dark Wisp, which I haven't actually seen, but oh my, that looks terrifying. So many big purpley balls flying at it. I know this tower boss isn't very exciting, but I think it gives lots of XP. And Lord of Darkness is only level like 10. Oh, balls. That might not be good. Maybe we'll need to bring out a Shadow Freak first. Would you not? Oh, Shadow Freak with a 15,000. <laughs> that was awesome. And we got like eight levels on uh, Lord of Darkness, so that's good. Oh, this will be very easy. And Shadow Freak's almost level 50. That's good. The Quivern probably will die. Oh, amazingly fast. Just one little sneeze. Yeah, that's... Oh, wow. Okay, Quivern is immune to that. That's fun. Um, yeah, you're immune to darkness, but you're not immune to this. That worked pretty good. And another 14,000 XP. Beautiful. So I know that the Anubis gives a lot of XP too. Whoop. All right, Shadow Freak, please do something. That worked pretty well. This skill is so stupidly overpowered too. And falling back. Oh my goodness, this is so much easier than it used to be when all my pals sucked. I don't even care about taming you. The queen will be, ah, run right away. Oh no, oh no. Oh, thank you. You saved me from the Toko Toko. And you gave me a chest. Oh, pal soul on the ground. And another 67, oh, that's 185,000 XP. <laughs> My goodness, that was cool. Uh, hello, another boss. This one is the Axel of Ozark. I think we'll be okay. I hope we will. I mean, it's only 130,000 XP and Shadow Freak likes to mess up people. Uh oh, maybe not. That could actually be very dangerous. Oh, it wasn't so bad. All right, this is gonna go okay. Should we bust out the Lord of Darkness just a little bit to see how this is gonna go? Come on, buddy. You can do something, I'm, I assume. 
Let's hit him with the... Oh, okay, the meteors. That's the wrong side. You still have a lot of hit points. Oh, it's highly effective. Wait, that was a frost attack. Why are you doing frost attacks, buddy? You're the Lord of Darkness. Oh, there it is. That's the one. It's not doing very much. Stop it. Leave me alone. Because this guy's, like, immune to... Yeah. All right. I, I understand. But that one's good. Oh, run away. Whoop. If we take out the Paladus, this could work a little better. Because you have the Blizzard Spike. Ow. That tickles a lot. So it's fun in games until someone breaks your gun, too. Ah, it does eight damage now. Okay, Paladus does way better. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. That's fun. Spear thrust! You missed, you dingus. Oh, uh, why do you have to miss on this like this for me for this? That was a lot of word, weird words together. Here. Jetragon, go! Jetragon has got a case of the dubs. <laughs> Alright, that was mildly... Oh, you know what? It, Paladus is just way better. Alright, buddy. You get the killing blow. Yes, you do! I should name you Vader. I really should have named you Vader. Because you've got the power of the dark side. Man. Even though it's allergic, like, it does a lot of damage still. Ow. You wanna do something? There you go, there you go. That's the Dark Wisp. <laughs> Another 198,000 XP. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. I also can't believe I didn't remember this, but I haven't leveled it up with uh, the weird Anubis Tower. So let's see how far we can get. Oh, wrong button. Uh, oh, I don't even have that. Hold on. Whoops. Uh, yeah, let's enhance that. I don't have this all the way up yet. Interesting. I need more lift monks. But I do want to enhance you. Okay, so your base level now is 1,176. We get attack leveled up. I'm hoping we have enough. I think I'm too mega soul short. Yep, too short, but <laughs> that's an increase of 300 attack. All right, I have to know something. I, I just have to know if we, we can really butcher them for their souls. Because no, <laughs> I think the uh, Frost Stallion Noct allows us to butcher them. Are you? Ooh, we got to make sure we butcher the right one though, right, fellas? Yikes. Okay, Lord of Darkness, you're going to go in there. And we're going to bring back our friend, this one that just got born. We're going to put you in here. Actually, there's one up there too. And then we're going to summon you out. <laughs> Okay, just a generic one, nothing important here. Then we'll equip the old stabby device and we'll go a little bit like, who's a good boy? I'm gonna pet you. Yeah, come here, buddy. I love you so much. And then while we're doing that, we can just equip the meat cleaver. Oh, I feel so bad for this. And then we'll butcher you. Oh my goodness, okay. And then we're gonna mount it, ride it like that. Ta-da. Well. Good news is I got a pal soul, and then it fell through the. Whoa, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um. Hold what? No way. <laughs> hold on here. I think I just glitched the matrix. No, it didn't. <laughs> are you? Are you? Are you understanding what's happening here? Bro has no body anymore, but his souls are constantly usable. I'll just summon him back and then press forward to butcher him again. As the butchering goes, I hit the mount button and then he's here, but he's not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe it. I think we just found a bug. Um, butcher? I was gonna mount it just to see what happens. Wow. Can I fly with it? I can't fly with it. Let's dismount, resummon, and then fly. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, okay then. Wait, there's something down there. We must go explore. Take me to your leader. What is this? Why? Hello? Why? I don't know what's going on right now, but. <laughs> Why is there a chickpea down here? What are you doing, fella? Now you have a soul. Can I just do it over and over? Yeah. Can I, but I can't butcher when I'm on it, but whatever. Okay, this is weird. I kind of like it. Now the question is, if I respawn, does it, it doesn't have a soul anymore. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> the soulless one is your new name. <laughs> we will summon you in, throw you down, and butcher you soullessly. And then, okay, we gotta get on it before it 
gets totally messed up. That's hilarious. I love it. Goodbye, friend. Thank you for being weird. And does it work? These souls do work. They're considered souls. All right. So we have a max level Lord of Darkness four star. Oh, well, he's not max level yet. We need to go maybe attack one more thing. What should we attack? All right, so we know that uh, neutral is allergic to fire damage. We can go for the boss king Paka. It's gonna be a super duper easy fight. Probably not much XP, but it'll be funny. <laughs> no, 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 you're not allowed. It's Lord of Darkness time. What are you attacking? No, leave that fella. What did he ever do? The poor little Kremis just got a crit for 10,000. Buddy, buddy. That's the coolest <laughs> gift. 23,000? We need more XP in you, bud. All right, here you go. Go take out the King Paka. It's not gonna be much XP, but it'll be good. There you go. All right, that wasn't so bad. 5,000? He's on fire too. Lord of Darkness, just finish him off, buddy. That works. We can freeze him and then hit him with your your big balls. I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to hit. I want to hit him with the dark wisp. This is why we did this. The dark wisp right there. My goodness, <laughs> that was fun. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video of Pal World. Hope you enjoyed my eight-hour adventure. If you did, let me know and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of my channel members and patrons, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippius, General Harris, Trent Dent, Kodino, Rit the Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ralph, BC Engineer, Sakars Morax, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Splatter Sax, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Sikander D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Link Hewlett, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Wyatt K, and Rainbow Dash.